Welcome to FS17 Lawn Care. Today we'll be mowing our house and the shop's lawn. We did get a brand new daily driver here for the series. I traded in the 2016 Chevy 1500 Silverado for a 2018 Ford F-150 XLT in lightning blue, which is awesome. It does have the chrome package and the 5.0 V8 underneath the hood. We'll be making our way over to the shop and then we'll be using the Husqvarna lawn tractor and the 20 foot utility trailer as well. But one thing we are changing up for today's lawn care video is we will be using our daily driver which today is our new F-150 to tow the trailer. I thought that this would be a pretty cool thing especially since we are mowing our house and our shop's lawn. No uh, properties today. This should be a very nice thing. Now this F-150 was released by Punkadillon and his modding team. I do recommend you go check out his channel. This is one awesome truck. Very high quality and it is probably one of the best trucks I've ever seen in FS-17 which is is awesome. You guys can see pretty realistic first person view and I've actually sat in a few 2018s and it's a very similar to this as well. Now we do have the six spoke uh, wheels here on the side. I really do like these a lot and you can also see the privacy glass on the back seats while the uh, front seats are a little bit easier to see as well. So pretty realistic truck in general. We'll come over here and open up the gate. We always lock it every single night especially since we got trailers outside. We do not want those to go missing overnight on us. Now now, the XLT trim level is pretty realistic, I will say. It's uh, very popular. It's pretty affordable compared to the top trims, and it has some luxury things as well, like the center console shifter. But this is four wheel drive, which is nice, and we definitely need that to get through the winter. So, we'll back up here and attach, and we'll first take a look here at the Husqvarna lawnmower. Uh, back up a little bit more now. I already put a fifth wheel and it bumper pull hitch here on it, which is nice. And lightning blue really does look pretty cool. That looks awesome. Now, over here is our 20 foot utility trailer and the Husqvarna lawn tractor. Now, there are two versions here of this tractor one that comes with a cart, a loader, and without a bagger. But I wanted the bagger, I didn't want to drop the grass on our uh, lawns today. I think that it's going to be a little bit easier uh, just to bag it. And at the end of the day, we will just empty out the bag. So, we'll uh, kind of come out we will be mowing our shop at the end of today once we mow our house and depending on time this mower isn't as fast as our zero turns and a 42 inch deck is actually pretty small compared to our 72 inch on our laser z but we'll kind of head back over to the house and we do have to leave a little bit of room for the gate to close that looks to be good and we'll just come over here lock up the gate i really do like this lawn care series it's been around it for a very long time and i can't wait to continue this in fs19 as well and kind of finish off fs17 with it now this f-150 is amazing i really do like the f-150 and uh, this one is pretty cool so our house is on this street yep and I think uh, to make it a little bit easier on us, we're just going to park uh, outside the uh, driveway uh, for backing up reasons, everything like that. And like I've touched upon, usually we use a commercial truck, one of our work uh, trucks, to tow uh, the trailers. But today I thought since we were doing our house, why not use the F-150, put it to work. It's a pretty light load as well. It's only a small lawn tractor and a 20-foot trailer. So we'll get uh, this backed up there, and let's get mowing here today. And I really do like this a lot, this small mower. It's pretty cool, and it is actually fairly new as well. Now, a few things I have noticed about this compared to the other mower is the deck cuts a little differently, and the other one is a little bit slower as well. So one of the, those are some of the reasons why I wanted to uh, take this one here today as well as the bagger. I didn't want to drop the grass. The other one drops grass, and that means we would have to rake it up, some things like that, and uh, just really wanted it to be a nice, clean cut and not really have to mulch the grass. So next up, we'll go here on this side and do the property line. Now I do have some pretty cool mods here in the works, but I'm not sure exactly when they will be released. School is starting for me very soon. I just got my schedule, and I hope all of you guys are very excited for the upcoming school year. And let me know how your summer was. Did you have a great summer? Mine was pretty cool. I actually do have a few real-life uh, landscaping videos coming as well. Some pretty interesting ones, and uh, it's going to be some awesome landscaping as well. I just have to kind of get them uploaded here to YouTube. So probably towards the weekend, you guys will be seeing those and a few other things even a big surprise I've been working on for quite some time I'm waiting until it's completely finished before I do show you now it's just all back there we just had to turn our 
turn just a little bit back up in turn, and that's because, I mean, this mower doesn't have the best turning radius. Lawn tractors aren't the best for turning. The zero turns are very efficient as well. So you guys can see we are doing a pretty good job here, and let me know how uh, you guys usually mow these lawns. I usually try to outline them, and then we kind of get mowing here. And it looks like this side property isn't going to take too much longer. Now, like I have touched upon, we will be mowing our shop. I do get lots of requests to mow the house and the shop, so I thought why not we do both of these here today in the same exact video. That way we get two things done and we get to use our brand new truck. And I just can't wait to do more videos there with the 2018 truck. That's the uh, refresh design, first year of the refresh of the aluminum body, which is pretty cool. It originally came out in 2015, and then uh, that is the 2018. They just kind of freshed up the front end, and they now have a three wheel diesel coming uh, soon for the top trim truck so that's also pretty exciting and it's just nice to uh, be able to sit in this truck in real life and then use it here in a video game that's awesome and I do appreciate Dylan and his modding team for releasing that truck amazing amazing truck and shout goes out to him and shout also goes out to all the other mod creators for making awesome mods that I get to use here in my videos. And I really do enjoy uploading every single day to YouTube. It's a lot of fun. And you guys are the ones that are making it possible. Now, we just actually recently dropped to one video a day here on the channel. And that's how we'll go throughout the uh, school uh, months. And once summer comes, we'll most likely uh, go back to two videos a day. But until then, we'll enjoy one uh, video a day with all the different things we do from landscaping to the new moving company to fire rescue all of those things this one isn't taking long at all which is also a big bonus for us I always like to be efficient here so using this would be nice and also I will say we definitely need to unload this bagger quite a number of times but I don't really have a place to unload it at the house and maybe at the shop we'll unload it but it will create a pretty big grass pile and I'm not sure if we want to do that as well but wow the first person view on this is so good I have used that so much today and that's okay. Now let me know down below guys what truck of all of the new trucks, the Chevys, the uh, Rams, the GMCs and the Fords, do you guys like, do you guys like uh, like a 1500 F-150 or do you like like a 3500 or F-350? Let me know your feedback and also if you do drive a vehicle in real life, let me know. I drive a uh, 2018 Double Rack, I have done some videos on it and I do have more coming as well on that but our house is mode and it actually came out very nice so we'll do this little patch. And we'll do this, and that's pretty much it here for this. Wow, we actually have just a little, little bit more to do over here. But I really do like lightning blue for the F-150. So I thought, why not put it in lightning blue and uh, put it to work here. So we'll have to jump the curb once again, and we'll get this uh, on the trailer. We'll get it loaded up. That looks good there. Now you usually want 10% of the trailer weight here on the truck and that looks good there. We'll put the ramps back up and we should be able to mow the uh, shop and also kind of head back to the house. But six spoke wheels, I mean this thing really does look pretty cool and this first person view is amazing. I haven't seen a truck like this and I mean it's always nice to use new mods. So this will probably be a new favorite Ford of all time in farming simulator just because of everything. It, all of the doors do open and the tail gate goes down but the quality and the level of detail on this truck is amazing we are now arriving back here at the shop I do want to kind of get it parked out of the uh, street I always like to uh, keep my vehicles out of the roads as much as we can especially in real life I like to keep them in the driveway so we'll just kind of park this over here and we will get the ramps down and we'll mow the a shop here. It shouldn't take too long though. We actually don't have too much grass, I will have to say. And that's a good thing as well because we are always busy. This is just a quiet day here for us mowing our house and our shop. But usually, uh, I mean, having too much grass to mow ourselves is uh, more time for us. But we are out mowing uh, 10 to 15 lawns a day with the mowing company. Every single day we do that. So, I mean, we're very, very busy and we have multiple different trucks to go out. And uh, I mean, that's awesome. I would like to get up to probably 25 lawns a day, have two, three crews that go out. I mean, that would be an awesome, awesome thing. We might have to do a multiplayer series, uh, maybe in FS19, where we uh, have uh, 
crews of like three people, one weed eating and then two mowing. I think that that'll be awesome. Let me know if we should try something like that for the brand new game. And I think that that'll be a pretty cool thing to do. Now we just pretty much finished off this pass. Now on the other side, we don't actually have too much. All of it's really just uh, parking for us. And that's also nice though, having that parking. So it's just pretty much a pass around the back and then that's pretty much it. We'll get parked up and we'll head back to the house. If you do have any cool video ideas for me, please let me know down below here in the comments. We will be doing some landscaping very soon with our landscaping company. I do have some pretty cool ideas as well for that, along with some other things. But wow, this Husqvarna lawn tractor is pretty cool. Now, like I've touched upon, there was actually two versions of this tractor. This is actually the older version. The older version is with a bagger. So this is older, but I really do like it a lot. And that looks to be good there. And we'll get this turned off. We'll get it parked up and we'll... Put the trailer outside. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So get up and over the curb. A bit tricky, but we were able to do it. Wow. And then we'll get this little piece here. We could have probably uh, closed the gate, but that's okay. We'll get this parked up on the inside here. And the training cut mower will be released soon. I'm not sure exactly when. I am now busy here with school. But hopefully I could release that. And I do have two compact tractors being released. A John Deere and also a Kubota. So stay tuned for those. We'll get this backed up here. Put the ramp up. And then we'll head back over to the house and put this back in the garage. Now I've gotten some requests to add a sports car to our lineup. So let me know what we should add. There have been a few uh, sport cars lately released. And I would like to try to do either a Mustang or a Corvette. So let me know, guys, what would you guys like me to do? Or even a Porsche just to add to our shop. I mean, that will be a pretty cool thing to do. So let me know your feedback. And that will be greatly appreciated. And if you do have any tips to help improve my videos, also let me know. We are now making our way back over to the shop. And, uh, I mean, this truck is awesome. It will uh, be one of my top trucks now to use in videos. And we'll get this backed in. I always like to get the trucks backed in. It's pretty easy to leave, especially with not too much turnaround room in our uh, parking area. We'll get this backed up, open up the door. We do need to get garage door openers, I will have to say. That would save us a little bit of time and make it easier here for us. But we'll get this backed in, and then that is pretty much it here for today's. But hope you guys enjoyed today's long care video using the F-150 2018 model year and also the Husqvarna lawn tractor. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.